Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, I'll be creating this soft frame effect. It's almost like a vignette, although not quite, using selection techniques. Let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. So here I am, here's my image, and this really is a very simple technique indeed. Right, first thing I want to do is to select all, so I can go to select, and all or I can press Control or command a of course now I need to make this selection a bit smaller so let's go to select and transform selection up in the top I can make the width and the height link together which I'm going to do by clicking on the chain here then just change one of them to 90% 9.0% and press enter or click the tick now let's go to select and inverse selection so now we're starting to make the frame select modify and smooth and in my case i'm going to use 100 pixels click ok and you'll see how it smooths off the edges there now let's go select modify and feather and again i'm going to go 100 pixels and click ok and that's going to make the edges a little less harsh. Let's create a new layer and then go and choose a color from our image. So let's click on the swatch here and go and choose a color. Somewhere in here, maybe one of the reds, one of the darker reds, click OK. Now all I need to do is fill that selection with that red. And because it's my foreground color, I can use the Alt or Option if you're using a Mac and Backspace. So Alt or Option and Backspace. And there it is, filled in, really nice and soft. Let's Control or Command D to deselect. And we can change the blend mode of this to whatever we like. In my case, Linear Burn seems to work quite well. Or you can try one of the others, whatever may be your favorite. Let's try the Soft Light, not quite so nice hard light maybe a bit too red I'm going to go back to linear burn that works well for this particular image now we don't have to stop there what we can do is we can duplicate this if we want to or we can reselect our selection control command and click on that layer and you'll see it brings it back up again let's make a new layer and this time white is my background color so I can go control or command and backspace to fill that with white now if I drop that into linear burn as well something strange happens look at that there's a before and after absolutely no difference at all white has no effect in linear burn but I can put that into screen and have my linear burn as well maybe change them over and I get this nice softer effect my white's a bit too much bring down the opacity and I can keep fiddling as much as I like using different layers different blend modes different colors if I wish I'm actually gonna get rid of that white one I'm not very keen on that this red layer that looks nice to me I'm quite happy with that control D to deselect anyway there we go a very easy technique I've already created a couple of borders fiddled about with them and got rid of them and we're only just coming up to four minutes I'm Eric Reno. Thank you very much for joining me here. I'll see you again, hopefully, on tipsgirl.com. Bye-bye for now.